the first time you ever kissed a mouse. <laughs> this mouse, yes. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Get me Walter Scott. <laughs> <laughs> hey guy, you get in my way. Right. Oh, this way. Here we go. This way. <laughs> That's right in front of me. You did. Too close. Alright. Right now. Here you go. Now. <laughs> All of you ladies and gentlemen, these wonderful young people, we have come here, our first stop this morning on this decoration day was to receive a magnificent gift that I received and a second and very much warmer inauguration day. I understand that in preparing for this event, more than 2,500 young people worked with Station and Logic. And each of you who helped to make this private sector initiative possible has my heartfelt thanks. Tomorrow evening, I will address the nation about a dramatic the life expectancy of Americans has been increasing steadily for 50 years. I've already surpassed my own life expectancy at my birth by 20 years. Now, I appreciate it very much. Today, we take for granted They for granted so many inventions that inspired wonder not long ago. The poly Dr. Albert Sabin. Television, first in black and white and now in vivid color. Drought resistant seeds and cold resistant grains. Computers and then land gently on a desert runway. Despite the predictions so many made during the Great Depression when I was a young man, life in America today is not worse. It's far better. And let us ask them what made it so. During these past five decades, the government has indeed provided vital services and helped improve life for many people. No one doubts the necessity of a strong national. Likewise, no one doubts the importance of the government's safety net for those in genuine need. Yet our national experience shows that when government grows beyond the American people rebelled against oppressive taxation some two centuries ago, the reform that I will announce tomorrow will represent a dramatic you yourselves. It'll expand our economic freedom and clear the way for even greater economic vitality than that which we enjoy today. Nor will the benefits be economic alone. With more resources at their disposal, the American people will be able to provide synagogues. As our economy grows, they too will flourish. John Marshall said, the power to tax involves the power to destroy. If so, then the power to cut taxes must surely be the power to create. My friends, thank you again for the gift of this magnificent inaugural parade. May you enjoy all the blessings of a free and bountiful nation. And on this, the eve of the second American Revolution, may you always remember the enduring
team is our Grand Marshal, making an historic first visit to Epcot Center. From Columbus, Georgia, we present the Hardaway High School Band, directed by... East Greenwich, Rhode Island, the East Greenwich High School Band, directed by Vincent Matera.